Hey everyone! Today I'm going to uh, be pulling a few cards to see what we need to know going through this week of February 21st um, for some guidance. For those of you uh, who don't know, um, I'm talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts. I do all kinds of readings over here on my channel, trying to get back into the rhythm of things. So we'll see what messages come out for you guys. First of all, we have, uh, excuse me, card number 22. Thank you very much. Iris communication. All right. So I'm feeling a lot of, um, well, for me, I'm just a chatterbox, but with this card in particular, with goddess Iris, I'm feeling a lot of you guys are lacking communication or thereof. Maybe some of you are having, um, some issues at work okay, with communication and maybe what you guys are wanting. Maybe some of you guys are having difficulty with communication in a relationship. You need to understand that communication goes both ways, okay? This is like, you can't just assume that somebody wants something. Also, this is a card that I'm feeling a lot of like communication with your spirit guides. If any of you guys work with spirit guides, you really need to reconnect with them. You're off balance, okay? I'm getting a lot of like heaviness, um, so maybe consider, uh, like Reiki healing or working with crystals. The month of February, the crystal, um, that I have chosen and that I think is a really great crystal is, um, fluorite. So if you know anything about that, check it out. I'm not going to go too much into detail of it, but I love fluorite. It's one of my favorite along with labradorite. So check into that. But I'm feeling like you're wanting to communicate with somebody. Maybe some of you guys, it's interesting because I just got this message that some of you guys are wanting maybe to communicate with spirit. Maybe you're trying to learn how to communicate with spirit. It's very simple. I mean, first of all, you need to align all of your chakras, right? You need to open up your third eye, okay? You need to meditate, and there are always signs and there are always things that happen, whether that be your lights flickering, a song comes on that reminds you of your loved one, things of that nature. Like there's just all kinds of things that happen, if you will. So if that's something um, that some of you are really wanting to do, really check into aligning your chakras, really check into meditation, okay? You need to be in line to be able to um, connect with spirit, right? So for some of you, that is something that you guys are wanting to do. And it's interesting to me because with this card, it almost seems like these are angel wings, right? That are coming out right here. I'll pull it up here so you guys can see, right? So some of you are really wanting to connect with that spirit world. Um, and it's, it's like, <sighs> I feel as though this, like some of you guys are having dreams about it or you're having these dreams and you're wondering if it's reality and for, yeah, it is, it is. It's when you have dreams, I like to think of it as, uh, you're in a different dimension. Okay. And I like to, you know, in my dreams, I like to, um, it's not time travel. What in the world is it called? dimensional travel. Oh, I can't think of the terminology, but anyways, in my dreams, I like to jump, um, dimensions and I like to travel and I like to see, you know, what's going on. I like to learn new things. That's kind of how I've always been. So for some of you, that is really what you guys are trying to do, or somebody from your past is really trying to connect with you. I see the color green. I'm hearing the word red. It's really weird. Like I see green, but I hear red. So maybe that connects with one of you guys as well. The next card for some of you is going to be focus. And this also goes in with communication as well, right? If, if you want to do something, you have to focus on that. Okay. Sometimes we get uh, sidetracked, if you will. We get sidetracked thinking about all negative things and, and whatnot. And, you know, I can't do this or I can't do that. And so we start manifesting all the negativity, right? We start manifesting that actually not happening. So for some of you, you guys really need to focus on what it is that you want. If you want to have a better day, if you want to wake up and be in a good mood instead of waking up and being in a bad mood, then you need to do that. So when you wake up every morning, you could start off with five things that you're grateful for, right? 
Get yourself a cup of herbal tea or coffee or whatever it is that you drink. Meditate. Pull yourself a card if you like to. Or watch one of your favorite YouTubers um, that pulls cards and that type of nature. Because what you what you surround yourself with, right, is what's going to happen. So you really need to focus on what it is that you want. Instead of focusing on what it is that's not going right for you or that you don't like, start focusing on things that are going right, okay, that you do want. So I feel like that's all that I'm going to pick from the goddess deck. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like that's good. I want to move on to um, the magic deck. So we're going to see... What comes out for us in this? Uh, Philly is in the room, as usual, you guys know. So, if you hear him bark, it's because he's looking out the window right now because he thinks that he owns the place. So, he's always got to be around. For some of you, though, I, uh, I, keep, I keep seeing, like, birds fly. It's the weirdest thing. So, maybe that connects with you, maybe that doesn't, but I do see birds flying around. Healing, card number 29, all right? Check this out. Healing, candle flame, burn this hour, bring to me your healing power. So some of you, you really are going through this healing phase. Uh, if February is really all about that, this week is really all about healing. It's really digging deep into your wounds. It's really digging deep into what actually bothers you. And you need to, I don't want to say get over it, but I want to say be at peace with it. Okay, so for me, for instance, dealing with Oreo passing away, it's been really tough. Okay, it's been hard for me to accept that, but I need to work on this week for myself accepting that it has happened. That is reality. That's the realization. When you start accepting things that are traumatizing for you, right? You don't have to like it, but you can accept it. That way there you open up the doors to move forward in your life. You open up the doors for new opportunities. Okay, okay. So for some of you, healing is definitely what you need to be working on this week. Focus on your healing, right? Focus on that communication if you want to communicating with spirit. Um, it's interesting to me how well that these cards are working out together. I wasn't really sure. I was just kind of guided by spirit on what decks I wanted to use. I have a little bit of a different setup. I'm kind of doing a different style of um, reading. So for some of you, really focus on healing and when i say healing that deep gut-wrenching pain that you guys may experience or have experienced okay it can be anything from losing a pet to losing a loved one to a traumatic experience at work or losing a friend you know what i'm saying anything that you cannot let go right that is what you need to work on accepting so you can overcome it all right so the next card interesting of course of course so the next card is going to be new beginnings so in order to get to these new beginnings as i was just saying in healing right then you'll get to the new beginnings card number 44 let this magic in my spell clear the space in which i dwell all right so in order to get to that new beginning that transformation period then you have to be able to dig down deep in your gut of guts and begin that healing process, okay? If you need to see a therapist, go see a therapist. You know what I'm saying? But you have to start the process of acceptance. And then you can move on to the new beginnings, all right? So let's go into uh, the angel uh, oracle deck that I have. Uh, this one is called Angel Answers. You guys always ask me what decks I use. And, and I always forget to tell you. So this one's going to be Angel Answers. Let's know what the angels... Um, Let's know. Let's see what the angels have to tell us. What do we need to know for this week? What do we need to know? Ooh. Meditation brings answers. Meditation brings answers. All right? So again, this goes in into as well this whole process that we have you've got the communication you've got the focus you've got healing you've got new beginnings you want you're seeking answers on what it is you know you may be lost and you don't know what to do I mean I'm lost too you know what I'm saying like I don't know what videos I want to do but I know that I want to do videos all right I know that I enjoy doing this am I some famous shmamous youtuber absolutely not but I know that's what I want to do so 
in order for me to figure out what videos I should be doing or what you guys like, you know, I can meditate on that. I can speak to spirit on that. You know, meditation isn't always sitting there and hum. It's not always that. You know, for me, it's closing my eyes and I'll put on some meditation, um, like spa music. And I will have crystals and I'll just close my eyes and I will envision whatever it is that's coming to me, whether that be colors, whether that be numbers, whatever that may be. And then I'll start talking to spirit because again, I am a medium and I do get overwhelmed with things. So it's however you want to meditate, right? Thank you, Philly. Apparently Philly likes to meditate by scratching his neck. So with that being said, guys, this week I feel is very important for healing, okay? And when you're when you're healing and you're in that healing process, you really need to focus on what it is that you're trying to heal from, that you're trying to accept, okay? You really need to communicate that. And with communication, you know, you could sit there and say, spirit, you know, in your divine time, let me know how to heal from this or what I need to do or ways that I can work on it. Um, certain aspects of that, it you, you can just pretty much do whatever you want to do. For those of you who are like, well, you know what, you're, you're saying all this, but I don't know how to do it. You're saying do whatever I want to do. Well, first is, if it's easier for you to get out a, a piece of paper, right, and write down what, what what your pain is, what you're hurting from, what you need to heal from, then write that down. Take the steps to do that, Right. And then when you write it down, then you can make more steps on, okay, how am I going to accept this? I need to accept the fact, for me, I need to accept the fact that Oreo is gone and he's not coming back. I have to accept that. Is his spirit with me? Absolutely. But I have to accept the fact that I don't need to feed him anymore. I don't, you know, need to take him to the groomer or to the vet. Like, I have to accept that. Am I still going to grieve about him? Absolutely. I will never get over Oreo passing because that was my soul dog. You know what I'm saying? So just because you accept it doesn't mean that it's not going to go away. I mean, that's just not how it works. You know what I'm saying? But when you get past that and you get to that exception where you or you get to that point where you've accepted it, then that's when your new beginnings will start, right? That's when you clear the path for you to do better things and you have doors that open for you, okay? So for this week, uh, I ask everybody, because this is, I mean, I want to say a general reading, but for this week, the message is pretty strong. And however you want to take that, you know, this isn't a pick a card reading, this isn't by sign, this is just for February and this week and what we need to know, what we need to work on. So guys, please work on that. Um, and then you, you know, I want to hear about your guys' successes. I want to hear about, you know, what you guys are going through. I want to hear about, you know, your healing process. Or, you know, if you want to share your story, comment down below and let me know. You know, my door is always open. I talk to a lot of people. Um, sometimes I just start channeling, you know, out of nowhere for people. You know, it's always a possibility. Um so yeah, I mean, if you need somebody to talk to, my door is always open. You can find me on all social media, uh, on Instagram, Talking to Spirits, Laughing with Ghosts, same thing on Facebook. So I wish you guys well this week. I hope that you guys are doing well, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, bye-bye.